Well, 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 it finally happened. I finally won a tournament on DraftKings, and I want to document my lineup and also go over it. Um, just kind of my, I don't want to act like I had like a ton of thought process on this, but um, maybe in, in kind of sharing my lineup construction, some people can find value in that. Um, yeah, I put up 236 points. This was a $3 buy-in. 16,000 people. I got first place. I won $4,000. Um, I also had 56th place in the same entry. I put up a 200 point lineup, so not, not this good, but had another one going as well in the top 100. Um, yeah, surreal, surreal. Uh, the last five minutes when, when Brady scored that rushing touchdown, I just had to put my phone down and not really look at anything for a few minutes. And then when that game ended, I checked and I, <laughs> I was number one. So crazy. You you can win at this. Like real people win this stuff. It's it's crazy. So if you haven't won one, just keep going with it. Anyway, okay. I want to talk about my lineup. Um, so this is for Week Seventeen NFL Twenty Twenty Two. Um, the obvious game to target here was going to be that uh, what was it Bears at Lions game. So everybody was on that, and in trying to win these tournaments, you need to get contrarian and kind of avoid. Uh, what everybody else is doing, and create a unique lineup that goes off. So I wanted some exposure to that game, but I avoided, you know, the uh, the quarterbacks and the pass catchers with the exception of Komet, which I'll get to. But anyway, I pivoted off that game. I didn't use Fields. I thought Justin Fields was clearly the play of the week. Uh, he still got there just because he has the most ridiculous rushing upside of any quarterback ever, but the passing game was just horrendous. So he he definitely underperformed. Who did not perform, uh, underperform, however, is Tom Brady, who at 5% ownership was QB1 for the week, went off for 40 fantasy points. Uh, and putting putting together this lineup, uh, I, I definitely want to stack him with Mike Evans. I thought Mike Evans was the play of the week, 8% ownership. He broke the slate. I mean, he had 200 yards, three touchdowns, just ridiculous game. And I also, I had to work in Godwin. Because if you're stacking quarterbacks and the quarterback isn't mobile and the quarterback doesn't have rushing upside, you're going to want to stack uh, two of his pass catchers. You can get away with uh, single stacks if it's someone like Lamar Jackson or you know Jalen Hurts, someone that can even fields, obviously, guys that can get there with their legs. But um, if you're playing a pocket passer quarterback like Brady obviously is, you're going to want to have two of his receiving options. So did that, had the Bucks stack, and then ran it back with DJ Moore at 11% ownership. Uh, I really like DJ Moore as a player. I thought he was due for a big game. And one thing about this game that really jumped out to me, and this is so important when trying to handicap NFL, is just the the injuries in the secondary for both teams. Both teams just missing or, or having you know questionable tags on a lot of their quarterbacks, their safeties. All the defensive backs banged up. The uh, the Panthers were going to be without J.C. Horn, so I thought that was an opportunity for Mike Evans to go off. Really just a perfect storm in Tampa, no pun intended. If that's even a pun, do they, ha they have storms in Tampa, I guess? Hurricanes, something? Anyway, okay, so that was my main stack. Uh, on the running backs, Travis Etienne I thought was, you know, kind of a must-play this week. Going up against Houston, the worst team in the league against rushing and running backs. Uh, he's a baller. He's their top guy. You know, I, his numbers could have been a lot better. In fact, I mean, I, I feel like he had like a hundred yards at half, and then they just sat him because they were up so big. But that's frustrating when when you get um you get a team that scores thirty one or, or wins thirty one to three, and the running back doesn't do more. But he still got there. He still got a hundred yards, a touchdown, looked great. Uh, and then on McKinnon. I, I wanted I wanted part of that Denver offense. I'm sorry, no, I did not want part of the Denver offense. The I want part of the Kansas City offense, and I thought he'd do a little bit more on the ground, but he still had two receiving touchdowns, uh, higher ownership at uh, at 15 percent than I thought he would have. But he hooked it up. That's not a guy I play very often, so I'm really glad I played him this week. And then uh, I had a little mini stack going at the uh, tight end and flex. I still wanted some exposure to that uh, that Chicago at Detroit game in the Dome. I went with Komet at tight end. 
I mean, he scored a touchdown really early, and I was freaking out because I, I thought he was going to go for you know 100 yards receiving or something, and he just didn't, which was really frustrating. But uh, you know, the touchdown helped. He should have done more. I thought he was definitely the play of the week. I, I played a ton of Komet this week, and then at the flex, I had DeAndre Swift, who has been underperforming. Uh, I think he's a baller. I mean, he was due to have a big game, and I, I liked with him. I liked the fact that. Um, you know, if, if he gets a rushing touchdown or two, he's kind of negating what that passing offense can do. So kind of being contrary in there, just, you know, hoping that Detroit scores 41 and, and he's a big part of the reason why, instead of it being the passing game. And that's, that's what happened. So he hooked it up on low ownership. I'm actually surprised he was, he was even 10% owned. I think that's a little high, but uh, people were on him. And then finally, the scariest part of all this, the, uh, the Falcons defense, I actually had a different defense, the Patriots, who were home to Miami, I had them going. And at the last probably five minutes before this all kicked off, I changed it to the Falcons. And thankfully, that change didn't cost me any money because it easily could have. This was not the right play. Um, they were they were like $100 more than the Patriots defense, and they did not do anything. Defense is just so tough. Defense is ridiculous. But I really should have gone with the Patriots there. And I'm, like I said, grateful that uh, that, that didn't ruin anything for me. So, yeah, 236 points, totally unique lineup. Also had 56th place. Boom. Good day.